Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. This reading is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Guys, if you're looking for my information to book a personal reading, you'll find it listed in the description box below. If you're looking for our tarot deck, Magical Fantasy Tarot, it's still 35% off. In the Etsy store, the link is below. Uh, you can also find that on Amazon. So let's get into this for Sagittarius. Hmm. Something you need to let go of. It has to do with a health issue. You got to make room for something here. Make room for new beginnings on its way to you now. So let go of something. There has to do with some health issues. You may be stressed out about something. You got to let it go. So that you can, you may be blocking your blessings, stressing out about something. Hmm. You're going to find the answer. Something's going to, you're, you're going to unlock. It's like you're going to unlock something. You're going to free yourself from something. I'm not sure what Lilith has to do with the situation, but let's get into this. If you're dealing with an Aries, there's a choice to be made, or they could be a soulmate. If you're dealing with a Taurus, somebody who wants to be with you has been left out in the cold. If you're dealing with a Gemini, someone's very guarded. They may have some reg uh, regret or remorse, but they feel kind of guarded and defensive at the same time. So they're like in two different mindsets. If you're dealing with... If you're dealing with a cancer, somebody's manifesting the harsh truth. They either want to know the harsh truth about a situation or they're manifesting an attack, doing trickery. If you're dealing with a Leo, uh, they're mastering their emotions about a commitment or they're wanting a commitment with a cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. If you're dealing with a Virgo, Somebody's obsessed with a relationship. If you're dealing with a Libra, they're unhappy because somebody juggled them. They were cheated on. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, they've been watching for a long time. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, this is a, this is a relationship with an emperor. If you're dealing with, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, somebody needs the strength to end something. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, I feel like somebody is trying to reconcile and recover a situation. Trying to recover and reconcile a situation. And if you're dealing with a Pisces, you are somebody from the past to Pisces. Okay. So whatever you're getting the answers about, it could be about this third par a third party situation, maybe stressing you out. And it's almost like you need to let it go because it's affecting your health. Tell me about this for Sagittarius. You may feel like, I feel like, why do I feel like Lilith is the same person here? These two people being the same, they even look the same. I feel like this could be either a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, or this is an ex-wife, or this is a wife. Um, take it how it resonates with you. But this person may, you feel like they got a victory and you don't want to talk about the burden. Said Cherish, you may be keeping this to you to yourself. So illuminating in conversation about the burden. You don't want to talk about it. You don't want to talk about the burden, but they're getting it out of you. They're getting it out of you. Illuminating a conversation about the betrayal. 
a truth is being spoken here and somebody's at a crossroads trying to see things from a different perspective. It's almost like you want to rush to move on. If you're feeling like, well, if that's what they want, I'm out of here because you feel like there's no equal give and take in a situation because of a new passionate beginning under the bottom of the deck. You may be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. There's communication that they may have reconciled with somebody from their past. I feel like this is an ex-wife to this Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. And you may have found out that they have reconciled with a, an ex-partner. That's what Lilith is here. I feel like you're stressing out about this. You're finding out. You're finding out that this person has reconciled with somebody and it's causing like I almost feel like you're getting an ulcer here. You need it's affecting your health. It's affecting you in a negative way, stress wise. Tell me about this. What's the problem and how does it affect? Hmm. Okay. That makes sense to me. When somebody, you're rushing, if something rushed for you to move on really quick, it had to do with somebody confessing they did a love spell. So you've got that queen of pentacles, the queen of pentacles did a love spell on the king of cups to get them away from you. Confession about a love spell. Mm-hmm. To get you to move on. This person did it so they could be happy. This is their happiness. This is about them wanting their happiness. And they're trying. It's almost like they're shooing you away. Like. Tell me about Sag. What do we got? Okay, I want you to see this. There's that Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio that you're dealing with. It burdens this person's wish for a partnership. This love spell burdens his wish for a partnership with you, Sagittarius. So he feels very guarded and defensive very resistant back and forth for a long time. Like this person has maybe been racking his brain um, about the situation for a long time, not understanding that he's being pulled in this way because it's affecting his free will. Like he doesn't know what to do here with the, the nine of wands being the wounded warrior. Like he's fought the good fight, right? But he has been back and forth. Back and forth, back and forth for a long time. Like, why does he feel the way he does? Why does he still think of you if he's with her? Well, she's affecting his free will. So she can't change his heart. And he doesn't recognize that as that yet, right? So not realizing that a love spell cannot affect your heart. They're, they're just making, they're messing with your mind. It's an illusion, right? So he's working. He's unhappy. He's unhappy that he left you out in the cold because you were his 10 of cups. You filled all cups for him. Mm. Somebody's going to get some karma. Um, Sagittarius, first of all, it's meant for you. It's yours. Just remember that. Right. And just because somebody has taken this person away from you, it could have been for a long period of time because they're doing, they're doing witchcraft on this person. They're confessing to this love spell. They're going to, this person's going to find out. They're going to find out what this person did. It's not going to bode well. Okay. So I feel like for So he is, he's discontent. He's, he left you out in the cold. 
Um, he, you feel like he feels like you were there to, you filled all 10 cups. He wanted to offer, it's almost like, this is, I want you to see the, the look on his face, the misery here, the misery. This person is miserable. I feel like he's miserable because he being a masculine energy, take it out resonates. If you're not a masculine and you're a feminine, this person is the person that you're dealing with Sagittarius. And I'm seeing it from the feminine perspective here because it's a masculine. But if you're two feminines, then this is, they're in a masculine energy. If you're, if you're a man, then this is the opposite for you. You're this person or take it out resonates. I almost feel like this person wanted to, uh, uh, to be with you, like in, as a husband, you fill all 10 cups and he wanted to offer to move forward. King of Pentacles, like he's in his masculine, like, uh, like he could have, he could have, a, he could have, you could have ended up married to him is what I'm saying. See again, somebody's manifesting deception here. You have somebody who is you know, in the causing the drama, he's trying to recover. She's manifesting deception so that he doesn't recover this commitment. She doesn't want him to be with you. And I say she, she's a feminine energy. Okay. She's coming in in her feminine and she's riding that broom as hard as she can right now. And this has to do with how is affecting this person? This person's free will has been uh, affected by it, which is causing you to be away from him. And he really wants to be with you. She's a gold digger. Confession that she was, she's there for the money. She, she likes the stability that he provides her. And she doesn't want to not have that stability. Tell me about... What's the outcome here for Sagittarius? That's going to end. Okay, this is about the security. The security and stability is going to end. The confession that somebody this somebody was there for the money. Here's the problem with that. I want I want to say this real quick. If you're doing um, love spells on somebody and that person doesn't like you, it's like you've trapped a ravenous dog, right? So you're going to be sleeping with the enemy, literally. And if you're unhappy, if you think that somebody, just because you trapped this person to come be with you, doesn't mean you're going to be happy in that relationship. You may be miserable in that relationship because you cannot change their heart. You can't change their heart. You can mess with their mind and make them feel like they, they may um, need to be with you. Now, this person may, in fact, love the person doing the love spell, but they're not in love with them. So where they may feel, be fond of them, there's never going to be that true love connection, if, especially if they have somebody else in their heart, period. So he needs to recover from this queen of pentacles. Third party betrayal. This is a third party betrayal. And this is the betrayal was the betrayal of you. You're the third party or they're the third party to the betrayal. They did it. Okay. This queen of pentacles is the third party who did the betrayal. This is going to come full circle. So something here is going to end. So something new can begin this nonsense that this person has done to you and to your partner is going to cause a huge tower moment because you're an empress to him. So again, she's the karmic and she's, tra she's done love spells and she's trapped him for money and security. And you know, that's all going to, it's all going to fall apart. This is it falling apart. This is it all falling apart. Shit hitting the fan. 
you need to work on seeing things from a different perspective, Sagittarius. You got the victory here in divine timing. You got the victory. What was meant for you is going to be yours. Okay, period. So you got the victory here. See, somebody was trying to hold on to the money. They were holding, they were there for the money. They're, they're a gold digger. They're somebody that they're an opportunist. They're there for the money, right? Waiting for communication about the deception where love is concerned. So they're going to confess. There's a confession here. Somebody's waiting to communicate about the deception where love was concerned. This person's going to finally say the truth, right? And there, then there's a choice to be made and somebody's obsessed. Because there's no equal give and take in the relationship. Okay, this person doesn't want to be with this person who's done the magic. They want a new beginning, and they're coming in as an emperor in a lower vibration. They want their partner back, right? They're going to walk away and cut somebody off. Because somebody can see that somebody's back and forth about somebody from the past. He's not talking about it right? This person who did the magic is going to see that this person is always thinking of you, Sagittarius, that you're the one that's on his mind. And she knows there's no equal give and take because she knows he's in love with you, right? She's, they're not talking about this. It's always, it's like, he's ready to rush out and move on. He, it, cause he's trapped in his head. He's coming in as a King of Pentacles, needing strength to end the situation. Because he's so unhappy. He's discontent. He's got to end it with her. It's going to happen though, guys. I see an ending coming, an ending to her stability and all of that. Everything she's got, it's going to come back on her. No need to worry, Sag. It will come back on this person tenfold. So at least threefold. So depending, just depending, it's going to be karma. Anyway, guys, that's all I have for you. If that resonates, leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you have a blessed week. Mm -hmm.